Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And yes folks, the town has a name, finally. Now I know probably not everybody's going to agree with the name, but this was one of the highest rated names. Now this was actually in a cluster of names, and it had like, I think like 14 thumbs up. There was another really high rated name uh, called Komodo Central. I almost went with that, but I feel like the Komodoville, having that all in one word, it, it just fits a little nicer. Uh, when I hear Komodo Central, I think of morely like a bigger city type thing. So Komodoville is the town name. I uh, hope you enjoy the sign here. I do have a couple set up around the town. But yeah, this isn't the only thing that we're going to look at today. I've actually got a couple things that I want to discuss today. Now we are going to have two town episodes this week. We're going to have the one today and another one on Saturday. Now, the one on Saturday I'm going to need some feedback for, and we'll go over that last, but we're going to go check out the new thing that we have here today. And I guess I wanted to give you guys a little clue where the sign was. It's, there's one here, and there is one by the junkyard. I didn't exactly want to show that one because of the fact that there's a junkyard right behind it, but there is one down over there. And I'll probably stick one on the other side of the GameStop in the uh, AT&T store. But yes, today, I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but we wound up doing this. This was something, as soon as we stuck the police station down, I looked over and saw how terrible that fire station looked. I'll probably flash a video of it on screen here. It wasn't good at all. But now we have a much nicer looking fire station. This one's actually based on a fire station, I believe in West Lafayette. I will put it up on the screen. I think I've got a couple pictures of it. It's a really nice modern looking fire station. So I went with that one. Now we're going to go over the interior. And this isn't the only thing that we've actually done. I've also redone the fire truck. It is a lot better now. It's a lot more functional. It's got some really neat features. So we're going to go over that. Uh, we'll pull that out second. Let's go ahead and walk into the building here. Now you're going to notice a little pumpkin setting here. And actually a couple of the buildings have pumpkins. That's going to be Saturday, and we're going to discuss that at the end of the video. So just in case you were wondering what the pumpkin was there for. But anyways, the uh, fire station here, we can walk right in. It's got a nice lobby area here. That's uh, fairly nice. I like the color scheme. It's a really simple color scheme. A lot of the fire station, the interiors that I saw, either they had this white on white floor, or some of them had like a lot of wood in them. Uh, you can see some wood in the, uh, the hallway here for the floor. But I think the color scheme came out nice with the stripes and the uh, doors are all kind of outlined. Uh, you've got the front counter here. I know not all fire stations have like a attendant at the front, but this one does. It's more like a modern one. Uh, over here to the left, and maybe I should stick a door here. I was debating on this. Like, I picture the firefighters walking in from the garage over here and going straight in and going into the kitchen or the, I have a locker room over there. So maybe I will stick a door on that. I'm not 100% sure, but... Here's the uh, kitchen area. It's a really nice looking kitchen. I kind of just kept the uh, the whole theme, the red and white throughout the whole building here. And it just feels right. Fire station, always think of red. You know, the fire trucks are always red. So I think this whole thing wraps up the theme really nice. Now you've got the cabinets up here. You've got a little stove area, a couple sinks. We've got a fridge and guess what? There's ducks. Gotta have ducks in the fridge. Got that, got a nice little area to sit down in. You've got only two windows here. You've got the window by the front, you've got the window over here. Uh, pretty much all the other areas in this building should most likely be private, so we're gonna go through those real quick. Here's the uh, hallway, and in here you've got the beds. Now, we are using bunk beds. I know some fire stations are basically like apartments and each firefighter on duty gets their own little area. Now. Some do like the, uh, I don't know if they're necessarily bunk beds, but some do have to uh, share rooms together from what I've seen on pictures. But this is kind of like a, uh, I had to make this all a little smaller, so I wasn't going to be able to do like a bunch of individual rooms with beds in them. So you've got the bunk bed area here. Now each room has a radio, just in case a call comes out, everybody will be able to respond and run quickly out to the garage. Uh, in here, this is a little living area slash workout room, so... You've got a TV here, a nice couch, a weight bench, and a treadmill. Now, the treadmill doesn't work. I'm pretty sure somebody's going to point that out. I didn't want to stick a bunch of bearings in there. The only thing it would do, it would actually just spin the bearings. And I don't even know if you'd be able to run on that. I'm pretty sure it would just knock you off, but 
That might work. Maybe we will change that, but it's uh, fairly nice looking. Get this in here. Now, I do want to thank uh, Zachary. We've been doing quite a bit of town stuff together. He's helped me with this uh, station a little bit, and he actually did quite a bit of work on the uh, truck outside, and we'll go over that last. Now, this room, this is the locker slash showers. So, come in here. I've got a bunch of lockers. you got a little bench to set on. Uh, you've got a two showers here. Uh, you've got the hot and cold. You've got just these little shelves in here. It's a nice little area. Uh, behind here, here's a toilet. Just very basic. It's a fairly simple fire station on the inside. Now, the outside is just where it shines. To me, it, it looks like it goes along great with the police station. They both have a really nice modern look. Now, let's go ahead and travel out here. Here's the, um, the big garage. Now, from the picture, there was actually two garages. I didn't have quite enough room to make two. And we only have one truck for the town. Now, this used to be like a pumper truck, but we've done some really nice modifications to it. So, we'll go over that here in just a second. Let me go ahead and finish up in here. Uh, you've got several different lockers. Uh, some of these lockers have, like, the uniforms themselves. I didn't really know what to use for materials for those. But say you'd have the uniforms in here, you've got the boots. And they normally have another locker where they lock up the air tanks and all that other equipment. Uh, probably, like, oh, I'm pretty sure the axes and all that are already on board. And I'm pretty sure they even keep some air tanks on board, but we have spare ones over here. Now, this little area here, this is where all the controllers are for the building. So, let me go ahead and... Open that up real quick. Uh, it's not much. I know it kind of looks crazy, but these are really only doors. That's the only thing that actually functions in here. And it's almost the same way with the police station. The police station looked pretty nutty when I opened up the uh, spider web, but it's mainly just doors. Now, let's see. We, we're going to go over here real quick. There's a breaker box. I think the truck's ready to be pulled out. Now, this truck is it's awesome. Now, let's open up these garage doors here. Swing those open. It's got a really wide turning radius. I really hope I can get out of here. It was a adventure to back this thing into the garage. Uh, since you have the construction site over here, the fence is kind of in the way. So we might have to move that back a little bit. But anyways, the fire truck itself, we're going to pull it out. I'm going to set it over to the side. We're going to go over it. It's got a new paint job. Uh, it looks more like a Chicago fire truck. Uh, they're fantastic looking. I love the, uh, the mix of the black that they use on them. It's just got a uh, really cool look, and they use a, they tend to use a darker red. I had a shade brighter last time, but I like this darker red quite a bit. So, anyways, you can see we just, just clear the garage here. So we're gonna pull out. Uh, we're gonna go to the left because I need kind of a tall building, and I don't know which one I want to use. Maybe we'll use the bank. We could use the hospital, but I think I'm gonna actually use the bank because there's actually something on that street that I want to show you guys. But anyways, I do get a bit of frame drop with this fire truck. It's a lot more intense than the last one. And I'll show you why here in a second. Let's go ahead and get to where we want to extend this ladder. But yeah, the last truck didn't even have a ladder on it. The last truck was morally like, and I think I actually called it the wrong thing in that episode, but it's a morally a pumper truck. Uh, you would hook, I guess, all the hoses and the fire hydrant, and it just pumps that water through. Now, this one still has the same functionality, but it also has the ladder on top, so... Anyways, we're gonna go over here and actually you know what I have barriers blocking this road and there's a reason for that uh, Let me move those real quick and I'll show you how this ladder works and I'll explain what's going on on the street All right, so say we are in full-blown emergency mode this thing does have a siren on it now, so You can hear it going there So yeah, we're gonna pull up here. I moved the barriers This is actually gonna be used in the next episode the street, so that's why they were there uh, let's go ahead, you know what, let's say there's a problem at the school, that's a nice roof there. So we're gonna go over to that area real quick, we're gonna pull into their lot here. Uh, now I kinda feel like I need to put hydrants all over the town, we'll probably do that soon. So let's park over here. Okay, so this thing functions a lot more now, I'm, I'm actually gonna turn off the siren, I just want you guys to hear it. It's uh, kinda hard for me to focus with it going, so let's turn that off real quick. And we're going to hop out here. As you can see, there's quite a bit changed with this truck. I've updated all the handles on it. Uh, Zachary came up with a really cool ladder system. This thing actually turns around 360 degrees and extends out. So we will be able to get up onto that roof there. 
Uh, it's got some suspension parts that I've changed. I've actually fixed a couple things. It still has this little problem. You can see it doing it now. Uh, it flexes every once in a while, and I think it's just something to do with the world, but it'll uh, bounce around a bit. But the back, nothing much has changed. You've got a new hose on the back here. You still have that caution checkerboard pattern. Uh, the ladder's up here. Now, the controls for the ladder are actually in here, and hopefully I didn't, yeah, I didn't park too close to that school uh, sign there. So, say we're ready to go with the ladder. Now, sometimes they have controls on the side, or I've seen some trucks that have like a little seat up at the top. Uh, the controls here are on the side, so we're going to hit the first control here. And this switch is going to lift the ladder. Let's go ahead and get a good view of that. Okay, so that's, that's up pretty far, but that's not far enough. Like, it's not extended out. We're not going to be able to reach anything. So, let's go ahead and hit the other switch here. So, we're going to hit that one. Get a little bit of lag here. There it goes. All right, we've got an extended ladder. And, yeah, I'm going to need to move that over. Now, to turn this ladder, it's actually from the uh, passenger seat here. So, let's go into here. And I believe this one's going to turn it. Let's zoom out a bit. Click this button here. There we go. That's pretty close. Uh, it might need to go probably about to there. And as you can see, this uh, ladder's at a bit of a taller angle than the building itself. Um, yeah, you would have to actually manually adjust those. Now, you could say you would put that on a, say, an electric motor to go up and down but the weight will eventually make that bearing where it'll start to stoop down so it's really hard to do it that way and keep it consistent now that it's on a controller it actually stays in its position so we would have to adjust say this roof isn't quite that tall so we, we need to adjust down on it so let me see what we can do here okay to adjust that ladder up and down it's going to be the top left controller here so we have it at it was at 30 degrees, I just moved it to 15 degrees, and I do think that's going to be safe to get on the roof, so let's go ahead and jump back into here and correct the ladder. So we're going to go hit the one key, and that's going to stop us right here to the left side. That's a little off, I probably could finally tune it to get it a little closer to the right. Uh, these work on buttons, and they're not on like an electric motor, so you have to kind of spam the button on and off to get it in the uh, correct position. But that's going to be enough to get on the roof here. Now, I haven't thought of a good way to actually jump up on this. The only way I can think of using it is actually getting on the uh, lift here, which kind of stinks. Uh, they said they're working on a ladder block in Scrap Mechanic, so uh, once they have that, I'll put a ladder on the back here. But anyways... You can walk up this, and this is really easy to walk on. Like, you can even walk on it while somebody's controlling it. We tested it out a bit. He was able to move it around, as long as it's not going too fast. Now, if you hold that button to rotate it wide open, this thing spins pretty fast. But, anyways, this is kind of odd. I don't think I've ever been up here. Wow, this is cool. But, yeah, here's the uh, the top of the school, and you can see back there's a football field and all that. I uh, get a bit of lag over here. Like I said, it is due to the truck itself. Uh, if the truck's not here, if it's on a lift, this whole world runs at above 60 FPS. But, yeah, this truck is just amazing. It's got a lot to it. And I will try to stick this on the workshop. Now, a couple things have happened. I know if you follow my Steam group, I've talked about not being able to stick stuff on the workshop right now. I get some sort of weird error, and I've talked to Scrap Mechanics developers a little bit. So, I think I know what I can do to fix that. Uh, some other people suggested a couple things. So hopefully I will have this on the workshop and the fire station on the workshop by the time this video goes up. Yeah, that is a sweet looking fire truck. But anyways, that'll be on the workshop hopefully and so will the fire station itself. I wasn't going to do the fire station this episode, but I went ahead and decided to do it because in fact I was looking at the police station. I was like, man, it looks so glorious. And you look over and see the fire station. It's like, ah, that's a uh, terrible looking. So I'm glad I got that out of the way. Now what we're going to do next episode, and this is where I need some feedback from you guys. You guys were great with the names, like that was awesome, and I really hope you're happy with the name of the town. I know not everybody's going to be happy with it, there was some other people that probably wanted their suggestion and all that, so can't really satisfy everybody, but I hope you enjoy that. Now what I need from you guys this time, I talked about how Halloween is coming up. And next Saturday, I want to do a couple things with the town. That's why you saw the pumpkin there. And that's why the street down here was blocked off. 
I'm thinking about setting up a small festival in the town. I think a festival would be nice up and down the street. Uh, we're going to do like a Halloween slash fall festival. So we're going to have hopefully some games, hopefully just some booths set up. I want to try to decorate. Uh, I would like to decorate most of the town. I know it's not going to be possible. But I'm going to try to at least decorate this street and we'll probably stick some more pumpkins out. That's actually a really neat looking little pumpkin. So we're going to do that. We're going to set up some stuff here. I'm going to try to do a, like a, I don't know if I want to call it a spooky vehicle build, but I want to do a Halloween themed build. Now I might be using that hearse. I might be able to do something with that because I've really not had a use for it. Uh, if you recall when I built it on the campground episode, it was just kind of there and it, it looked really out of place. So anyways, we're going to do something with that and I would like to transform this street into a festival. Maybe we'll do something inside the school. I think that would be kind of cool. So I need some Halloween decorations. I'm going to come up with a lot of them, but if you guys have anything you'd like to contribute, I'm going to flash my email up on screen and maybe we can do kind of like a little community festival here and set that up. Now that's not the only thing that I want to do. I want to do something else for Halloween. I'm thinking back here, where's the hill at? There's a hill, the campground's over on this side, but there's a hill in between them. It's the hill with the rocks over there. I think we're going to make something a little creepy up there. Just do like a, uh, maybe a, well, it might not even be a temporary build. It might be a permanent building up there. So I'm thinking maybe a graveyard and kind of a spooky house up there. So we're going to do that. Hopefully get a vehicle out and hopefully decorate quite a bit of the town. Because I think that would be a really fun episode. And quite a few of you guys were suggesting that I do something like that. So if you got anything you'd like to send over, any suggestions, comment below. You can send it to the email. I look forward to seeing all of that. And I'm really excited for this episode. And I'm also excited for the uh, 50k that's coming up, and I, I'm pretty sure it's about to happen, so I'm going to have to do something special for that. I think it's going to be, we're going to go back and look at a couple old builds, and we may or may not have a camera. We'll talk about that when that comes around, though. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really enjoyed making this fire station. To me, it complements the police station uh, really nice. I mean, they just look like they belong right next to each other. So I've got that, and we have the uh, newer fire truck. Now, that fire truck was using the existing base off the old one, but it's just been updated, and it's it runs a lot better, and it just looks awesome, and it's a lot more functional. But anyways, guys, don't forget to comment below about the Halloween festival coming up, and if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. But anyways, hope you guys have a good day, and we will see you guys Saturday for another town episode. Thank you.